pots. Not the ones you cook with, but P-O-T-S, which stands for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. POTS is a form of orthostatic intolerance. Orthostatic is just a fancy way to say that it's something that is exacerbated or increased with standing or changes in position. So going from a supine or lying position to an upright position, uh, if that provokes symptoms, that's usually referred to as an orthostatic condition. Uh, or orthostatic intolerance means you're intolerant of being upright uh, or standing. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different types of orthostatic intolerance. Uh, and there's kind of a category of these, these that fall into what's called dysautonomias, meaning that it's a dysregulation or dysfunction in the autonomic nervous system. Uh, POTS or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome is one of these kind of dysautonomia type um, phenomenons. Your autonomic nervous system is, um, there's two sides of it. There's the parasympathetic and the sympathetic system. Your parasympathetic system is your rest and digest, your kind of chill mode uh, system. Your sympathetic system is oh my God, there's a bear chasing me and that's your fight or flight. Do I turn around and fight this bear or do I try to run as fast as I can? So that's your that's your uh, fight or flight symptom system. That is your sympathetic nervous system. Now these two systems are generally fairly balanced with each other. So when one goes up, the other one drops and vice versa. Uh, and usually there are certain things that will trigger it. So like a bear chasing you will, will drop your parasympathetic, increase your sympathetic and give you a shot of adrenaline to allow you to go and do whatever you need to do uh, to either get away or save your life from you know the attack that's coming. Now people that have dysautonomias or dysregulations in their autonomic nervous system have um, they're not good at controlling when it's up and when it's down. So uh, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, um, tachycardia is having an unusually high heart rate. So having a heart rate that goes from when you're lying down and resting, if that goes up by 40 or more beats per minute upon standing, or you have a sustained elevated heart rate above 120 beats while standing, that is what's considered postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Now this can lead to a whole bunch of potential symptoms uh, that overlap a lot with concussion. Okay, so your brain blood flow is highly regulated. So your brain likes to have a consistent amount of blood flow all the time. So if there's changes in your systemic circulation, meaning that if you have changes in your blood pressure in your body, if your blood pressure goes up or goes down, your brain still likes to try and do what it can to maintain that same amount of blood flow. If you're not getting that same amount of blood flow, it can cause these types of symptoms like lightheadedness. Or if somebody does faint, the purpose of fainting is so that your brain and heart become at the same level so that gravity can allow blood to flow into your brain and at which point you will regain consciousness and um, generally will be will be okay from that. But that's a protective mechanism actually is, is to faint. So when your brain isn't getting the blood that it needs, um, it might feel an increase in symptomatic, you know, symptoms of, of all different kinds. And this is something that happens in concussion patients uh, who don't even have POTS. But one of the causes of persistent concussion symptoms can be these blood flow abnormalities that are related to this autonomic dysregulation. So your brain vasculature doesn't respond as well as it should. Your heart doesn't respond as well as it should to uh, changes in, you know, physical exertion, uh, changes in mental exertion, and all these different things. So you might start to have an increase in symptoms as soon as you start pushing yourself a little bit. Now this can be related to a blood flow issue, uh, which can be also related to autonomic dysregulation. Now POTS is kind of a different beast on this. POTS is when you have such a dysregulation in your autonomic nervous system that the mechanisms that control heart rate and blood pressure are kind of out of whack. And so as soon as you stand up, you have this increase in, in heart rate and it stays sustained, and so you're not. It's not an efficient way um, to to be. Um, so 
Symptoms can fluctuate in patients with POTS. They can come and go over time. Sometimes patients with POTS will feel good for a period of time, uh, and then then it then it can come back. Um, but generally, the treatment for POTS isn't a cure necessarily. It's basically a way to reduce the symptoms of POTS. Not to say that since you have POTS that you can never get rid of it, but we don't actually have any type of cure. We just have these uh, modalities to help you live better with the condition.